Knights of Apollo. What is up, guys? It's Apollo here, and welcome back to the championship of the best players in the world. This is the TWL Season 8 Championship Game 2. It is decided right here, right now, in this match. Whoever wins this one takes it all in his crown champion of Season 8. Guys, get your siege pants on. Get your snacks and drinks. We're, we're about to go on a bumpy road. I don't... Whatever. All right, so uh, this is the matchup between Parthia's Finest and Best or Bust. So if you guys saw the last video, which a lot of you guys didn't, I mean, check it out. It's like the championship matchup. I mean, come on. Uh, but we saw Best or Bust go as Rome and, and um, Tylus and just dominate. So they have a, uh, a lead here, but they, they got like negative seven points, which is a, not a lot of points. So, uh, in this scenario, Parthia's Finest is on the attack. They're going Rome and Swaby, which I believe is going to be a negative five points. So, if they win this with this, uh, with this faction combination, they win the overall tournament. Now, on defense, we've got Best or Bust, who's going Bowie Eye and Arverni. The same two factions that uh, Parthia's Finest played in the last match so very interesting faction selection and of course if best or bust wins here uh they will win it all just based on the wins and not on the points you know because the points just won't matter at that point uh so yeah that's that's the matchup and uh, we're gonna get this one underway all right guys so the siege tower or i'm sorry the siege equipment has been pushed up to the walls and you can see that uh, Parthia's Finest, they've destroyed the arrow towers here of the walls uh, with the with the, the Ballista. So uh, they're going to get that out of the way right away. Uh, Swaby is pushing up some troops as well. They've got their Club Levy. Let's go, Club Levy. So Swaby is considered a top tier faction. Not like the best of the best, uh, but definitely up there. Uh, and it's really cool because we rarely... We've rarely seen them so far in this this tournament, so it's going to be interesting to see them in action. And uh, the, the thing about them, I feel like Swaby has a high skill kind of thing going on. Like, they're kind of hard to use, but if you're good, it, like, once you, the, once you develop the skill to use them, uh, you can be very dangerous. So definitely, uh, definitely excited, excited to see the, them in action because they have a lot of fear capabilities. It can cause a lot of morale breaks. Uh, and it's just cool. I don't know. It's a cool dynamic because not a lot of factions are like that. And there we go. Rome is breaking down the walls. Same attack position as Parthia's Finest. And you can see, look at this. Best or bust. They're not going to do the same strat as Parthia's Finest. It does appear that they are going to be holding the initial... Uh, the initial wall here that's about to be broken down so we might see action here a little bit quicker who who knows but look at this syrian archers are gonna get into position and they like what they see let's see are they gonna open fire look at this see he's shifting his troops he's like oh crap i think he's trying to face them towards the archers and the archers are i don't know looking for a good position here or something but that, this is definitely going to be a problem. And they might want to try to answer back by... Uh, look at this. Same strategy here as Best or Bust. They open this up and then they're leaving. Why is that? Oh, I know why. I know why. It's so they can't reinforce. You see this, guys? So they bring down, they bring down this wall because they won't be able to put up more troops to run down the wall. You see that? So if if Rome gets in here and sends archers up on the wall, they can't be harassed. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. All right, so here we go. The forces are setting up. We might see a charge of infantry pretty soon. The archers, have they open fired? Not yet. See, I, I almost think they don't want to open fire until the infantry is engaged. That way you don't scare them off. You know, you force them to stay, and then you open fire. We'll see if that if that happens. 
I think we're gonna see a oh sword masters going in first I was expecting the club levy to charge in oh wow the range the range of these sword masters they didn't kill anyone oh no they did maybe is which one killed anybody which one was it the club levy well there's dead troops over here it must have been the archers that fired i don't know that was weird yeah the archers have kills okay i'm an idiot i was like i don't know for a second it looked like the uh, sword masters were throwing something i was like whoa the range on these bastards all right there we go artillery coming down now look at this they're like i don't know if they're intentionally destroying this building it might be the case so they could set up archers here and fire over the building you just never know you never know let's see let's let's watch the next shot here i know it's really intriguing oh wait 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 we got the charge of infantry here we go clash of infantry and they are charging the romans So, very different compared, even though similar factions, very different compared to the last round. All right, here comes the next volley. They are now going for the infantry. They're going for the archers, which they get a couple kills there. Swabies throwing in sword masters mixed in with club levy. A deadly combination. Legionary cohort. They're fighting the good fight. And look, at they're going to cycle in and out the troops. But, you know, honestly, Rome doesn't care because he's like, fine, I'll just shoot at you. Look at this. These guys already have 11 kills. And now these guys are going to open fire. And this wall is just perfect because it kind of protects them from enemy archer fire. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's just perfect. See, that's, you know, it's interesting to see this maneuver because... That's probably what Parthia's Finest was worried about. That's probably why they didn't defend this area because of the archer potential of the attackers. So in, la in the last match, you know, we saw Parthia's Finest fall back here, which uh, seems to be, uh, yeah, seems to be working pretty well for the attackers. This is a nice archer position. And it'll be interesting to see how Bester Bus recovers from this or like, adapts to this but so far they they're not really adapting they're just gonna keep holding and hoping that the arrows aren't that effective and now on the other side we've got the longbow hunters look at these guys ah! just opening fire <laughs> yeah it's probably what they're you know every time they let loose an arrow that's what they oh my gosh yeah this archer uh situation is a problem and the balance of power, guys, is... Look at the balance of power. It's greatly in favor of... I mean, can, relatively speaking, greatly in favor because the battle just started. And it's in favor of the attackers. But I think they just brought more troops, so it's kind of counting the numbers. Look at this. Oh, my God. They are shredding these guys. Shredding them. And that's probably why Rome didn't charge... Uh, you know how he came in here and just kind of sat right here? That's probably because he doesn't want to move up too far so the archers maintain a good angle on these. I mean, it's just genius. It's a it's a great play. A fantastic play. There we go. Yeah. Now the slingers are opening fire. So the slingers are finally answering back. So we're finally seeing some skirmish, uh, you know, defensive response. We'll see how that plays out. I'm surprised, well, they can't get on the walls. Yeah, they can't get on the walls. It would have been nice if they got their slingers up here. What if they, I wonder if they were a bit more aggressive here and defended this area, like sallied out. Oh, there's no gate. There's no gate here. For some reason, I thought there was a gate. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, Rome has decided to charge forward now because of the slingers, I assume. And I think he's just going to use this unit as a bit of a, a ammo, you know, pin cushion just to absorb some ammo. Now we got a tough fight over here as well. Sword followers, chosen swordsmen. 
And the archer fire is unrelenting. See, even though they've kind of maneuvered a little bit to where the Roman archers don't have as great of an angle, the archers for Swaby still have a great angle. Oh! And now they're... Oh, I see. We got some slingers that came up, and now they're getting harassed. Oh, my God, these longbows. Swaby is nasty. There it is. There it is. Look at this angle. Look at this angle. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, so far, I definitely think there's been a great start. Oh, nice. They got some slingers up here now. So they got their one unit of slingers that are firing back at the slingers of Bowie-Eye. This is a crazy fight, guys. Now they're reorganizing their men. And yeah, this is this is exactly what they want. Just hold here. They just want to hold here. Force them to move in, which will expose their uh, flank to the archer fire. Oh, now we got some archer fire. Here we go. Here we go. They're finally trying to zone out these archers. He's got uh, some Gaelic hunters with nine kills, ten kills. Trying to uh, deter, deter, deter the... Um, the auxiliary Syrian archers. All right, so here comes some infantry charging in. Sword masters taking on sword followers. They both live by the sword, they'll die by the sword. Now we got fresh troops charging in. So it does appear that they are starting to back away a little bit. Um, and they are desperately fighting. I think they want to still maintain this gate. But is it worth it? Because they're getting pelted from behind. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah. Sword followers getting pelted. Oh, yeah. Lots of archer fire coming down again. I think they zoned out that Arverni, uh, Arverni archer. Here comes another clash of infantry. And still, I, you know, I'm really shocked that the defenders are still holding up here. It just feels like such a disadvantage because of the archer fire. All right, now we got slingers up here. They have 133 kills. That's the thing about Slingers. If they have a clear shot, they're going to rack up a lot of kills. What are they going for? Oh, they're going for the infantry. Gosh. Look at the balance of powers shifting a little bit. Still in favor of the defenders, though. Still an uphill climb for the attackers. Wow. All right, Rome hacking and slashing, guys. Hacking and slashing. Arverni breaking again, losing another unit. How long will best or bust? How long are they going to hold here? More and more Romans coming up. The archer fire is becoming too great for the defenders. Let's look at the kills on some of these archers. You can see how ridiculous. Uh, 56, 118, 88. So not insane amount of kills. Not as many kills as the Slingers who are now at 207 kills. Woo! That's crazy. I want to see these guys get 300 kills. Oh, they just ran out of ammo. Well, they can still get kills with their dag. Oh, no, no, no. They still have ammo. I think. They had their sling, the slings out. Uh, but I want to see... Yeah, send them into melee. Get 300 kills. Go, let's go. Come on. Sword Masters are now being tossed into the fray. Rome starting to break here against the uh, sheer weight of all the infantry. You know, that is one thing about the defenders. They're going heavy with the infantry. Maybe that was, you know, kind of what they're hoping for. That, you know, the attackers just won't... They won't have enough ammo. To deal with all this infantry. 
Yeah, these guys are officially out of ammo. 211 kills. Not a bad day for them. Not a bad day. Okay, 137, 92 now. I think it's safe to say all the archers are going to rack up a ton of kills. And look at this fight under the palm trees, up on a hill. Oh, this is intense. And then behind, let's check out the uh, let's check out the kills for these archers over here. 58, 41, 127. Woo! Yeah, they still have a really good angle on the uh, the de the defenders. A really good angle, and they're just gonna keep racking up kills. This one has 115. It looks like they're having an archer battle. Oh, nice little archer dodge there, using his troops to move him around, trying to dodge the volleys. But is it going to be enough? Now we got some Romans that push way up ahead, attacking these Celtic warriors. Oh, they're getting slinged. This is a great angle for Bester Bust. Look at all the sling ammo that's just accumulating at the bottom of this uh, this hill. Look at this. Look at all that ammo, dude. Imagine getting hit by all of that. Oh my god. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Reinforcements moving up. Yeah, he's definitely got to reorganize his lines here because these slingers, they are no joke. 37 kills, 40 kills. They're probably just getting started. This one has eight kills. That's definitely going to be a problem, guys. That's definitely going to be a problem. And for the defenders to win this battle, he needs these archers to rack up a ton of kills. Just like the attackers. Uh, but the archers are just going to keep using their ammo on the infantry. 149 kills. Are they out of ammo? No. <laughs> no, they are not. 88 kills. These guys are holding their ammo. Swaby now getting hit a little bit. By uh, some slingers. Big break going on here from the defenders. Archer fire coming down. This is such a tactical battle. Just, it, this is a great map because it creates these giant infantry fights, but there's still you know a ton of like tactics with the uh, these uh, these archers over here. The slingers, and they're just fighting for their lives right now. They're fighting for the crown be crowned champion you can tell you can just feel it the energy in this match how how tough of a battle this is and how how hard the players are fighting all right we got some pila they're gonna let loose look at that just a crazy fight fighting at the gate all right, these archers have used up all their ammo. 151 kills. These archers still have ammo. 88 kills. 116 kills. Lots of kills. Now, this is going to be a problem. There's not a lot of infantry holding this back part. Uh, if anything, guys, it, it's starting to look like infantry is running low for the, for the defenders and really for the attackers as well. The balance of power, I would say, is even now. So it's going to come down to this. Let's see. They've got one more fresh unit. One more fresh unit. And that's about it. Swaby has two units here. He's got two units here. And for the defenders, they've got a depleted unit down here. Sword followers that are fresh, but pretty much every other infantry is engaged. So what the defenders must do here is create some sort of chain route. Keep using those slingers. Try to chip away at the Roman army or at Swaby. I love it. They got that club levy still in there. And they still got archer fire coming down. Look at that. They're going they're both going to get over 100 kills. Woo, look at this. 
Kind of going for the general. Oh, yeah, they're going for the general. The Oath Sworn. He knows it, so he's going to charge him in. I don't think that matters. Those archers are still going to just keep on firing. Oh, no, and his back is turned, and he's getting hit by Javis. Now he's charging in over here. That's crazy. Here comes a bunch of infantry from Bowie Eye. Now the archers are in the front because they don't have any ammo, so he's probably going to use them as just to absorb ammo or just charge them in as extra bodies into the front line. It's starting to get to that point of the battle, guys. We're down to the last six minutes of this fight, and man, this one has gone by quick. More infantry cycle charge. They're doing everything they can. To you can just tell that they are just desperately trying to win. They're desperately trying to cut down this infantry. And here comes Swaby. Swaby going through the uh, the the break the uh, the the breaches here because they've got the troops. They've got the troops. Look at this. All these extra troops. What are they gonna do? Bowie eye. And yeah, they're they're desperately trying to send <coughs> some re reserves over there. They gotta go. See, how many kills does a scorpion have? 32. What? Scorpion only has 32. Only it must have just started. But they gotta they gotta hurry up. Use up that ammo. I'd be shooting at this unit here or something. Look at this. Look at this. I mean. They are just desperately, it's both sides brutally fighting for this, this ground here. The balance of power is even, guys. It's still anyone's game. Fenders charging in these Oath Sworn. The Slinger's got a great position here. Come on, you gotta kill Swaby. Swaby still has some healthy units. Here comes the General. The last unit of Sword Masters. Oh my gosh, Swaby has so much. They have so much. Look at this. He's disengaging. They're disengaging. Oh, why is there some archers over here? It went all the way around the flank. Oh, Sworn's gonna quickly take care of them. Do you think it was smart to send the general over here? I guess they didn't have anything else. I was just thinking it might be better to keep the general up here to use the abilities and everything. Now the Roman general's running up. He's using some abilities as well. I don't know, guys. The defending line's getting kind of thin, but the bounce of power looks like it kind of went back into favor with the defenders. This is going to be... This is a close finish. And oh, now the slingers are going for the general. They are going for the general. He's getting him out of there. Getting him out of there. All right, some more and more infantry pouring in. Swaby definitely needs to make a move here, I think. Maybe attack down here. Like, why not? Like, I guess they're afraid of the slingers. Maybe they'll get hit in the back. I don't know. There we go. The general's getting hit, though, hard from the slingers. He's down to 117. If they kill the Swabian general, this could be huge. Maybe it'll be enough to break Swaby. Man. Here comes more Roman cohort. They're charging in. Trying to get our Vernie's general down. He's only down to 18 men. Here we go. Here's the flank. This is what I was talking about. And they're going to go in here. And that's definitely going to secure this area. They're going to take control. And now they can focus all their attention over here. Now the general. Look at this. Old Sworn. Away from the main fight. Having to deal with these flankers. Our Vernie has a random unit out here for some reason. They must have broke and came back. Lots of breaking going on from the defenders, guys. The bounce of power is still even, though. It is still even. The scorpion has moved. And now getting a bit better kills here. They're trying. They are trying. They should have moved them here way sooner. They would have much better angles. Oh, no. 
I think this might be it, guys. I think Parthia's finest just secured their crown. Look at they even charged in the general. Run down these skirmishers, these archers, and now more and more troops are coming in. They are coming in. Now we've got longbow hunters. They're charging in as well. Yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to call it right. Look at that bounce of power shifting very quickly. Woo, what a fight. What an epic grind over here. What a struggle. And so this concludes the epic matchup of the Season 8 TWL tournament. Parthia's Finest comes in. They work hard. And they get the crown. Champions of the world. Very epic fight. Uh, I mean, that was just an epic infantry grind. And really, the biggest thing was the archers. The archers alone probably racked up a thousand kills. That is impressive. I bet if you count up all the archer kills, it's probably a thousand plus. And then, of course, the Roman infantry, you just... You know, it's funny. People are like, every time I see Rome, I just expect them to lose because they always lose on your channel. And the reason that is, is because when new players play this game, they just want to play as Rome. So they lose because they're not very good at the game, right? But uh, better players tend not to play as Rome because it's too easy. So when we see really good players play as Rome, it is nasty. It is nasty. Now the Oath Sworn, it's just down to him. But, uh, yeah. Wow, this Oath Sworn has 323 kills. Very impressive. Oath Sworn are just, are sick, dude. They're sick nasty, okay? Uh, but obviously, they're not going to win. There's just too many. They break. And that's going to be it, guys. Very nice victory for Parthia's Finest. They take it all. Uh, very interesting faction choices. Very fun. And look at almost 3,000 kills with Rome. My goodness. 200, 234, 220, 168. Way more than 1,000. Uh, 98, 126, 151, 131. Woo! That is an insane amount of kills. An insane amount of kills with those archers. And, I mean, the archers, unfortunately for our Verni, really struggled. You can see 8, 51, 21, 50, just not enough. Uh, Barry did a little bit better, uh, with his slingers, but wow, I'm even surprised, like, I expected more out of the slingers, they, I thought they were doing pretty good, I just think they didn't get a good angle on the infantry to really chip them away, but that's gonna wrap it up, guys, for today's battle, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for the tournament, uh, for TWL Season 8, don't forget to join the Discord for this, uh, organization, that way you can, uh, create a team and play in future tournaments. I think uh, right now they're working on a Napoleon League. So that will be interesting. So definitely check that out. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you next time.